you for joining me again. It's nice to see you again. Well, we are going to continue with our story today. But first, let's see if we remember our opera song. Do you remember how it goes? Let's try. An opera is a story and all of the words are sung. Other hand, an opera is a story and all of the words are sung. A little louder, ready, go. An opera is a story and all of the words are sung. An opera is a story and all of the words are sung. Very good, good job. Well, do you remember from last time how we use our voices to sing? Let's see if we remember. When we sing, we use our voices. We can use our high voice that sounds like an owl, like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you make that sound? Let's try. We can also use a low voice that sounds like a drum, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. When we use our middle voice, it sounds just like our speaking voice. So it sounds like this. My voice, my voice, my voice. Very good. Let's try again. High voice sounds like an owl. Low voice sounds like a drum. Boom, 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 boom. Middle voice sounds just like the voice we speak with. My voice, my voice. Very good. This time, you try it. High voice sounds like, very good. Woo, woo, woo. Low voice sounds like, Good, boom, 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 boom. And middle voice sounds like, good job. My voice, my voice, very good. Now, let's see what we remember from our story from last time. Remember our story, it's called A Mermaid's Tale. And we met our mermaid, and her name is Rusoka. Do you remember? Rusoka. And Rusoka lives in the sea. She is wearing a crown because she is princess of the coral reef. And she has this. What is this? Correct. That is her tail. Good job. And she has her tail because that's perfect for living in the ocean. In the ocean, she has sea friends like this. What is this? Very good, it's a seahorse. And she has other friends like these. Tell me, what is this? Very good, it's a crab. And how about this one? Yes, it's a fish. And how about this one? Very good, a starfish. She has, Rusalka has sea friends. And if you remember last time, she also lives in the sea with her father, the sea king, who is also wearing a crown. Yes, so Rusalka is the princess of the coral reef and her father is the sea king. She lives in the sea with him and with her sea friends. But where does Rusalka want to live? Very good. Rusalka wants to live on the land like a human. But can she live on the land with a tail like this? No. What will Rusalka need? She will need legs and she will need feet. Now, how can she get legs and feet? She will have to go see Jazzy Baba, <gasps> the sea witch. Yes, 
Does her father think this is a good idea? No. He tries to warn her. He tries to tell her. But does Rusoka listen? No. She goes anyway. She goes to see the sea witch. So let's back up. If you remember from last time, we pretended to be Rusalka's sea friends, and we went to go tell the Sea King what she was planning to do. Do you remember that song? The song goes like this. Repeat after me. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. We have a secret you don't know. Good job, let's try again. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. We have a secret you don't know. Good job. I think we're ready to try our song. Now, we are going to pretend to be Rusalka's friends, the sea creatures. We're going to swim to go tell her father what she wants to do. And we will sing our song that we just learned. And you will hear her father say, we'll say, we have a secret you don't know. And the sea king will say, you do? And we will say, yes. Let's try it. Ho, 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 ho. We have a secret you don't know. And her father will say, you do? And we will say, Yes, I think we're ready. Let's try it. <laughs> Here we go. Ho, ho, sing, ho, ho, ho. We have a secret you don't know. And her father says, and we say, yes. yes. <laughs> Let's pretend to swim. And we're swimming. There we go. Keep swimming. Let's go up for a dive and down. Keep swimming. Good job. Let's swim this way. And backwards. Sing. Ho, ho, ho. We have a secret you don't know. And we say yes. Keep swimming. to go see Jezzy Baba and we pretended to be Rusoka going to see Jezzy Baba. We didn't meet Jezzy Baba last time, but we're going to meet her today. Are you ready? Here we go. This, friends, is Jezzy Baba, the sea witch. And if you remember last time, Rusoka went to go see Jezzy Baba. And we pretended to be Rusoka looking for Jezzy Baba. Do you remember? We reached out our hands every time we heard the name Jezzy Baba. It went like this. Every time you hear 
the name Jezzy Baba. I want you to reach out your hand like you're reaching for Jezzy Baba and you're asking for her help. And you'll do it with this hand and then you'll do it with this hand. And we're going to reach for Jezzy Baba. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Let's see here. Here we go. The water's chilly. Oh, Rusalka's cold. In the water, Shelby, it's cold. Oh, it's so cold. Jesse, Mama. There it is. Jesse, Mama. Reach. Oh, now let's swim and go find her. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Let's swim. <laughs> her father. He's telling her it's dangerous. Do you think she will listen? Reach for Jesse Baba. Keep swimming. Keep going. Go this way. Yes. Let's dive deeper. Very good. Good we job. That the sea witch was going to just give her what she wanted. Of course not. So, when she gets to Jezzy Baba, Jazzy Baba casts a spell on Rusalka, replacing her mermaid tail with legs and feet. And because there is always a catch, Rusalka will not be able to speak. <gasps> she took away her voice. So she gave Rusalka what she wanted. She gave her legs and feet. But what did she take away? She took away her voice. Oh no. So, Rusalka will not be able to speak while she is on land and will have to find other ways to communicate. Let's talk for a moment about ways that we can communicate if we can't use our voices. If we couldn't talk, we couldn't use our voices, how could we show that we like something? Maybe we could give it a thumbs up. Can you do a thumbs up? <laughs> if we didn't like something, how could we show that if we couldn't use our voices? We could give it a thumbs down. Can you do a thumbs down? How could we show that we were sleepy? Maybe this. Hmm. How could we show that we were hungry? Maybe we rub our tummy. <clears throat> How could we show we were happy? How about sad? Hmm. How could we show we were excited? <laughs> so there are lots of ways that we could communicate if, like Rusalka, we couldn't use our voices. So, Rusalka got what she wanted from Jezzy Baba. She got her legs and she got her feet. But what did Jezzy Baba take away? She took away her voice. Now, Jezzy Baba cast this spell on her. And the spell sounds like this. Let's get our spell hands ready. It's really funny words, but I think you can say them. Are you ready? It goes like this. Mooshy gooshy muck. You try. Mooshy gooshy muck. Let's try that again. Ready? Go. Mooshy gooshy muck. Mooshy gooshy muck. Very good. Okay. Now, we are going to sing along to a song that is about this spell that Jezzy Baba cast on Rusalka. And we're gonna help Jezzy Baba pour a little of this and a little of that into a potion. And then we're gonna pretend to be Rusalka and we're going to drink it. Are you ready? Here we go. Here it comes. Muck. 
Jezzy Baba. Jezzy Baba cast a spell on her that gave her legs and feet, but took away what? Her voice. She can't use her voice. So why, let's talk about why Jezzy Baba, or I'm sorry, why Rusalka wants to go live on land so bad. Well, she wants to go see someone we have not yet met but we're going to meet him now. Are you ready? Here we go. Rusalka wants to go see the prince. And what a handsome prince he is. She wants to go be with the prince, but she can't go be with the prince on land if she still has a tail. But now because of Jezzy Baba's spell, now she doesn't have a tail anymore. She has legs. So it turns out that the prince is having a fabulous party at his castle. And guess who can go to the castle now? <gasps> Rusalka can go because now she has what? She has legs and she has feet. So. Rusalka decides that she's going to the party, but what can she not do at the party? She cannot speak, but she can dance. Rusalka can dance. So they go to the party at the castle and let us pretend that we are all dressed up in the most beautiful gowns and in a nice tuxedo with a bow tie and we are going to the party. Are you ready? We're gonna dance. We're gonna pretend to be Rusalka who can dance, but she cannot speak. Ready? Here we go. Side to side. Over your head, the other arm over your head, both hands in front of you, and sway side to side. And can we go in a circle? Very good. One arm in front of you, the other 
other arm in front of you, both arms in front of you, and side to side. And can we turn? And can we go the other way? Very good. And side to side. One arm over your head, the other arm over your head, both arms in front of you, and let's sway side to side in a circle. Very good. Take a bow. Ready? And bow. So very nice. Yay! <laughs> okay. Very good. So, <clears throat> there's a party at the castle, and we went to the party to dance. After the party, Rusoka has to decide where she will live. She thinks about her home in the coral reef and all of her friends, and she also thinks about the fun she had at the party. She thinks about the prince and all the land there is to explore. Oh my, what is she going to choose? Also, what I forgot to tell you was that not only did Jezzy Baba cast a spell on Rusalka that took away her voice, she also told Rusalka that if she cannot get the prince to fall in love with her before time is up, Rusalka will have to come back to the sea and she will have to work forever as Jezzy Baba's slave. <gasps> oh no! That means that forever she will have to do whatever Jazzy Baba says. Does that sound like fun to you? Doesn't sound like fun to me. Oh, but how will she get the prince to fall in love with her if she can't talk? Oh, this is such a, such a shame. Oh, but we knew Jazzy Baba was probably not going to be very nice to Rusalka. So, Rusalka does get to go to the party, but we'll have to wait until next time to see if she gets the prince to fall in love with her. Hmm, what do you think will happen? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for joining me again. And before we go, let's see if we remember our opera song. Are you ready? Here we go. An opera is a story and all of the words are sung. Other hand, an opera is a story and all of the words are sung. Little louder, an opera is a story and all of the words are sung. An opera is a story and all of the words are sung. <laughs> Thank you, friends. I'll see you next time.